Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to build this device. And believe it or not, this is a water pump. It is a water pump to be used in very special situations. In order to understand the operating principle of the hydraulic device that we are going to build, we are going to build another device first. We think it is important that people have at least a general notion of the scientific principle involved in the operation of the equipment built here. So, with our tube now prepared, we are going to do a little experiment. Let's put some blue dye in the water. Now I am going to blow into one end of the tube, and we are going to see what happens to the water level in the tubes. I am going to invert the tubes and blow into the other end. What you saw there is known as the Venturi effect. When I stood on this end, you saw that some bubbles were produced here, and the water level rose here. The production of bubbles at this end means that the pressure here was a little higher. In other words, the air came through the tube, and since there is a narrowing region here at the front, the pressure here increased, causing some bubbles to appear here. But here, where the air passes at high speed, the pressure decreases, and then the liquid is sucked into the hole. When I invert and blow, this is still the region of highest speed, and then the liquid rises again. Whereas here, as the air arrives occupying only this diameter and then occupies a larger diameter in the tube, its pressure remains low, but it also drops. However, it drops to a lower value than here, so the water level rises very little in this region when compared to what it rose here. So this Venturi effect is what we are going to use to build the device in today's video. So, based on these properties, we are going to build a water pump that will be assembled like this. I'm going to connect this 45 degree connection. So I have this 25 millimeter tube and a 20 millimeter tube here, and I'm going to connect this connection to this tube. I'm going to cut a piece of this tube and it will be attached here to make a jet of water enter here. To make the connection with the hose that will feed this pump, I'm going to connect these two connections. So the hose will be connected here, the water will enter here, and it will be ejected here. It will then create a low pressure zone in this region that will promote the suction of water through this other 20 millimeter tube. and a piece of this tube will be cut so that I can make the connection with the hose at this end. So our pump will basically look like this. So I'm going to attach a small piece of this pipe here to this connection. We're going to use a drill with a very similar diameter. And this hole has to be aligned with the center of this tube here. So I have to make a hole in this direction. Okay, so we cut the little tube here, and we made a change. This tube was the tube I was originally going to use. But after doing a pressure test on the hose, and I saw that the jet wasn't very fast. So I cut a piece of this tube with a slightly smaller diameter and put it inside here. So we got a narrowing in the hole, which will make the jet stronger. Now we're going to attach this tube here at the back. So I've already put this piece of 20 millimeter pipe here to make it easier to connect. And this other piece too. To connect the hose. So let's put it in. Let's glue these two pieces here. Glue them here at the back. And connect them to the pipe. So let's glue all this together. To attach the hose to our water pump. 
I prepared this little aluminum tube with a diameter close to the hose hole, and here I made some grooves. These three here are used to hold the hose, and this one will be used to hold this tube inside with epoxy putty. This tube will be attached to this structure later. You will see that when this water pump is turned on, it cannot pump. The jet will come out together with the air up front. So it does not pump like that. To be able to pump, it has to have water inside. So we will turn the pump on again, and I will cover the end of it with my hand. And as soon as I feel that it is full of water, I release it. And then you will see that it will suck the sand. This hydraulic device is used in very special situations in which you do not want the material to be pumped to pass through the inside of the water pump. This is the case of water with sand, mud, or sewage. This device is intended for use at heights from a few centimeters to a few meters, depending on the pressure of the water supply. Here we will use water from the public water supply, but there are situations in which water from a centrifugal pump can also be used. And if you liked this video, subscribe to our channel and share the video with a friend. South, that's it, folks. See you next time.